What is going on everyone? Today, I wanted to do a quick gold guide, meaning I'm going to tell you every possible way to get gold in Lost Ark. With bound gold in place, people are beginning to worry about how they can obtain tradable gold uh, to access the auction house. Now, just because it's bound doesn't mean the gold is worthless, so please make sure to continue doing your Unis tasks and solo mode raids if that's what you're doing, because you can still use it for everything else. If you like short and straight to the point content, be sure to like and subscribe so I can gauge what you all prefer more. Without further ado, here is every way to get gold in Lost Ark. Number one, Chaos Dungeons and Guardians drop tradable honing mats and occasionally can drop gold bait embers. If you are one of the lucky ones, congrats. Otherwise, sell your tradable mats. Number two, Challenge Abyssal Dungeons. There is a chance for legendary card packs to spawn during the auction. People will bid it to get them and you can get some good gold depending on how the bid gets. Number three, Challenge Guardian Raids. Do these for extra tradable leap stones that you can sell. These also give accessories that you can kind of pray to get some good luck on. Which leads me to number four, accessory drops. If you're doing Chaos Dungeons, Guardians, Challenge Guardian Raids, etc., you will get accessories that drop. If you're lucky, you may get one that is worth something. Even if it's only worth 1,000 gold, that is worth selling. And number five is obviously do your Abyss, Legion Raids, Azeros raids. Unlike solo mode raids, which are bound, the three mentioned raids do give tradable gold. Number six, cubes. Do cubes for gems that you can sell. Number seven, life skills. So I can't pull up my life skills at the moment, or actually maybe I can by pressing B, but trade skills right here, or L. So there's foraging, logging, mining, hunting, fishing, and excavating. So do life skills like fishing or excavating and sell the mats in the auction house. Express passes. So I don't have it here, but you have the Super Makoko Express Pass happening right now. So if you haven't used it yet, use it. Completing it gives gold. Number nine, Adventure Islands. So make sure to check if that day that whenever you're checking has a gold island. Most of the islands do not give gold. So you click on this button here and you can check what the rewards are. In this case, none of these islands are giving gold. So skip. Wait until there's a gold icon and then go over to that island and you'll get gold. Number 10, Chaos Gates. Chaos Gates are simple and easy and fast. Just kill three bosses. Uh, with a group of people for a bunch of tradable loots to sell. If you get the bonus stage, it's even more loot. This is definitely worth doing when they are available that day and they spawn every hour. Number 11 is Field Boss. I wouldn't recommend, but you can still go here for some loot and possibly uh, a good legendary engraving book to appear in the auction. I've never seen one, so that's why I don't really recommend it. Plus, if there's a lot of people there to kill that field boss, your split will be very small. So overall, not worth doing, but you know it is a way to get gold. Number 12 is guild. I'm not in a guild here, but join a guild that participates in the PvP islands like Media, Flying, Death's Hold, etc. If you participate, you get a share of the gold every week as long as your guild places in the top three. Number 13, I'm actually here now, is the Wandering Merchant Ship. So you can press M and you can see exactly I'm outside of the city of Lutera on a boat. And from here, you can trade your pirate coins for honing materials to sell. So normal mode here and then right here. You just buy um, you know, mats and then sell them because they are tradable. Next. Now is some unethical ways to get gold. The so number 14 is beg. Find any character in a city like El Gacia, Boldus, or I would recommend South Curzon if you're available to go here because this is the latest content. 
Um, you know, and what you want to do is find a character that has a golden glow on their weapon. Whisper as many players with this. Quotes. Hello, I am new player. And I was wondering if you could donate 1,000 gold so I can finally fight blank boss. In the blank, put whatever boss you're about to fight. I'm really excited to play, exclamation mark, end quote. If they aren't heartless bastards, they will give you 1,000 gold since they probably RMT'd that gold anyway. It's an infinite money glitch. Number 15. Speaking of RMT, RMT. Now, I want to preface by saying that I do not condone RMTing, and actually, I condemn it. I would not do this if I were you, but this is a way to get gold in Lost Ark, so I must include it. Anyway, short and sweet, these are 15 methods. These are all the things I can think of to make gold in Lost Ark. If you enjoyed, please subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.